Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Model Driven App Step by Step series. You are watching the first episode of this series and in this session I am going to talk about what is Model Driven App. When we can use Model Driven App rather than the Canvas App. And at last, we will be talking about some real life use cases and examples where Model Driven App suits best. Also, one more important thing, I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family, do follow me on my Instagram. The Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. One more important thing. As you are watching the first episode of this series and if you wanted to move through the other episode of this series, the link for the entire playlist as well as all the episodes are available in the description box. So always check description box for the latest information. So in future as well, if there is any change in this video, you will get the latest link. So without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about model driven apps. When we get started with model driven app development, most of us have a question in their mind that why model driven app? Why not canvas app? When I can choose model driven app and when I can choose canvas app? You will get to know all of your answer in this video. At this moment with power apps, we can develop two type of application. One is canvas app and second one is model driven app. Now the question is that when canvas app and when model driven app. So let's say for an example if your requirement is something where you need pixel perfect user interface and UI makes a very important part of your application then I would recommend to go with the canvas app. But in opposite if data is more important for your application and you already defined some data verse table in your system and the business processes is the most important part of your application then go with the model driven app. I know still it's not clear for you. So let's move to the next slide and let me explain you how the model driven app is more advantage. As I told you when UI is not your primary focus then go with the model driven app. It supports the relational database storage with the help of Dataverse. It is more suitable when you want to develop back office system. Now this is the term where you will get more idea like for which type of application model driven app is based for you. So let's say for an example mostly uh, you wanted to develop some admin apps, back office apps like let's say employee onboarding processes, HR recruitment processes. Let's say you want to develop some device ordering back office processes, some complaint management back office processes. So at that time you can go with the model driven app. Model driven app is something which is a complete suit for you. You can also embed your canvas app within the model driven app. So maybe you can build one package where some requester view where the user, user interface is more important for you, you can build canvas app for that thing. For back offices, you can maintain the model driven app and you can combine everything into a single package and provide to your end user. So this kind of application you can build with the model driven apps. Also most important thing, it is supporting 100% responsive UI. So you do not need to make any fancy things in order for model driven app development. Also, it provides you offline capability in out of the box manner. So if you are working with app which should work in offline without internet, then also the model driven app will help you a lot. So hope these are the steps which will help you to decide when to go with canvas and when to go with model driven. In model driven, so many advanced concepts you can leverage in out of the box manner like business roles, business process flows, all of these things become so easy over here. 
We will check more about this thing in detail when we get started with the actual development process. But hope so far you get your answer when to choose canvas and when to choose model driven. So UI is your primary focus then go with canvas. When data is your primary focus choose model driven. You can fusion canvas app model driven together as well. You can embed your canvas into model driven. When your requirement is to create some responsive UI in out of the box manner and wanted to have some offline capability and want to build some kind of back office system, go with the model driven approach. Right? Now let me talk about some real life example where we can leverage this kind of model driven app functionality. So as I told you like HR onboarding process. So whenever any user is onboarded to the system, so many back office steps that we need to perform like HR is entering their different information. They are uploading some sort of document. Then IT admin is preparing their different accounts. And after that manager assigns them a project. And on the day one, the newly hired employee came uh, into the organization and perform some onboarding steps like induction process and uh, they will just check all their accounts and they will get uh, all the hands-on like devices and all of those things which is to be provided to the employee. So this entire onboarding process we can easily build with the help of model driven app and we are going to take the similar example throughout this entire session. Second is HR recruitment process. In recruitment as well there are multiple parts like first of all the screening is going to happen after that there is a, a first round of interview, second round of interview, third round of interview and the final round of interview. So this is the entire business process that you wanted to cover with the help of model driven app then this is very helpful to you. Device ordering systems like let's say for an example user is ordering some uh, devices for the organization and uh, it has to be passed some sort of processing like uh, IT admins processes after that uh, the budget is approved for that thing and after that device is sent to the end user. So this kind of uh, processes you can design with the help of model driven app. So hope so far you are good with me. Now in the next session what I'm going to talk about uh, which are the licenses is to be required and which are the different tools to require in order to get started with model driven app. So see you in the next session. If you have any question or suggestion or feedback feel free to add your suggestion or feedback or question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading regular content on Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are interested for any consultancy or training, here is the website. Visit that. It will redirecting you to this page. Over here, go to the contact page and send me your query over there. If you wanted to be a part of my different social media handles, here is a link to the URL. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this page. From here, you can follow me on my different social media handles. If you do not want to miss any updates from me, then do follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account. The Instagram account is something like this where I am uploading different posts, reels and IGTV. So do follow me on my Instagram so you will never miss any updates from my Instagram. It is useful for you for different short content on Power Platform. So the Instagram ID is very simple which is Power Platform Guy. Just copy that and paste it to your search window and you will find my account over there. Over here during weekend we are doing some special activities as well. So be a part of my Instagram family. Also if you want it for different audio podcasts related power platform here is a podcast channel click on that it will redirecting you to this page over here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more if you are interested for different short videos related power platform here is a separate channel called digital throwing subscribe that channel and show your love over there 
as well. This is Throwin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content.